This tutorial provides an introduction to setup and configuration of Simple Control for iOS. In this video, we'll go over three basic concepts involved in setup. The first core concept is rooms. A room is just like the rooms in your house, and that's exactly what it's intended to represent. When you first install, a default room has already been created for you named Home and given a representative image. You can change this later and add more rooms as needed. The second core concept is devices. Devices are simply the components you want to control. Your TV, receiver, Blu-ray player, thermostat, each of them is a device. The first step to configure your room is to add your devices. First, we'll add a receiver. We have an IP controlled receiver on our network, so we'll select this Yamaha here. Receivers are generally on whenever anything in the system is on, so we'll mark it as such with the Powerful Activities option. It also has all the speakers hooked up to it, so the volume control goes through it. So we'll mark it as volume for all activities. Save that receiver. We're asked if we want to have an activity associated with it. Since the receiver is itself a streaming device for services like Pandora, we do want an activity for the receiver, so we can confirm that. Now let's add the rest of our devices. Next, let's add a TiVo. The TiVo is always on, so we don't need to do anything other than select it. But this newer model TV does have a media access key we need to enter. So we'll do that by reading it from the TiVo menus, and then save it. Now we want to create an activity for it. We will say yes, because the TiVo is the primary way this system watches TV. Next, we're asked if we want to create a personalized guide in the TiVo activity. We do. The app detects our location and presents us with all available cable, satellite, and antenna services. We choose the appropriate one, select our favorite channels, save that, and we're finished with the TiVo. After initial download, Simple Control provides basic control for up to three devices. More devices may be added via the Simple Service available via in-app purchase. The Simple Service provides many benefits, including TV guides, DVR control, Simple Control for Apple Watch, the Simple Control widget, triggers, alarms, backup and restore, room proximity detection, and more. The receiver and TiVo that we just added are IP controllable, like most modern home theater devices. However, some devices are controlled by traditional infrared, like that from a remote control. The simplest and cheapest solution for infrared control is the Simple Blaster Ethernet. It hooks directly to a nearby Ethernet port and can control many infrared devices simultaneously with one adapter as long as they're in the same general location. Also available is the Simple Blaster Wi-Fi, which is identical to the Ethernet model, except it uses Wi-Fi in the event you don't have a nearby Ethernet port or router. Both models provide two emitter cables that attach directly to the infrared receiving window of controlled devices, and a blaster cable that can be placed in one location to control most or all of your devices by a beam like that from a remote control with a range of about 25 feet. There is no limit to the number of devices a blaster can control within the same area. It can easily handle any number of components in one room that need infrared control. As a general rule of thumb, one simple blaster is needed per room and one simple control can control an unlimited number of simple blasters. Simple blasters are available from the Simple Control website. Now, let's get back to adding devices. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we already have Simple Service activated in the app. Next, let's add a TV. While some TVs are controlled via IP like the last two devices, we will add this one, a Samsung, via infrared. For infrared components, as we select Add Device, you select the Simple Blaster instead of the device itself. So we'll select that, then tell it the device is a television with brand Samsung. That's all it needs to know to control any model of Samsung TV. We will also mark it Power for All Activities, because like the receiver, we want the TV on for everything. In this case, we don't use the TV to source any actual content so we will not create an activity for it. 
So now we have added three devices, a receiver, a TiVo, and a TV. One is controlled by infrared, and two are IP controlled directly over Wi-Fi. Let's add one last device. In this case, an IP controlled Sonos Play Bar. The Sonos Play Bar asks us to create an activity, which we will, and there are other Sonos devices found on our network which are added automatically. You can see them down here as you scroll down in your device listings. We've added all our devices, which brings us to the third major concept, activities. An activity represents what you do with the devices you have set up, such as watch TV or watch Kodi or play games. Generally, these are created for you automatically, but it is a good idea to open them to make sure they are set up correctly for you. In this case, before we do that, one thing we know isn't set up is the inputs on the receiver that need to be set for each activity. As the other devices didn't exist when we added the receiver, we couldn't do that then. But now we can edit the receiver and tell it about our system. So we will just set the TiVo to input AV1 because we know that's how we hooked up the HDMI cable from the TiVo to the receiver. Now let's look inside the activity that was set up automatically for us. Here it automatically named it, given an appropriate image, and set the receiver as the volume controller. Meanwhile, down here we see the exact commands to be sent when starting the activity. The receiver gets turned on, the TV is turned on, and the receiver is set to the appropriate input because of the configuration we did a moment ago. Depending on your setup, you will want to review each activity to make sure this is all correct and you're free to make any additions or just turn off the automatic commands and tell it to do something completely different. Now we're finished adding devices, the TiVo, the TV, the receiver, and the Sonos. We've verified our activities are set up properly and made a couple of tweaks for our setup and we are ready to try it out. So we'll hit Watch TiVo. Here we see that all the start commands for Watch TiVo have been sent the system is activated and everything has been set up automatically. A TiVo remote with all of the TiVo commands has been configured for us. The receiver is fully integrated, controlling volume with feedback and even explicit volume control sliders, integrating multiple devices into one remote. Remember that we activated the simple service for this tutorial, so we have access to two weeks of always up-to-date TV guide listings, DVR control for DISH, DirecTV and TiVo, and more. The guide has detailed information and photos from antenna, satellite, and cable listings from many different countries, including detailed information on episodes and seasons, biographical information on individual cast and crew, and much more. So it looks like the TiVo activity is working. As you are setting up, acquiring, or deciding what devices you have or will have, and how you want to configure your system, please take a look at our compatibility page on the Simple Control website, which lists model by model, manufacturer by manufacturer, exactly which device is capable of feedback or control. We update this page regularly with new models and new information. We also have infrared compatibility listings for those devices controlled via Simple Blasters, which has many thousands of devices. A search field allows you to easily look up each of your devices. In the unlikely event something you need is missing, it is always possible to learn the infrared commands with Simple Control's built-in infrared learning feature. So we have tested our TiVo activity, and now we'll just hit System Off to test the final piece. Looks great. Now we've got the system fully configured. That's it for this video. Please see the website for lots more information. Our support forums and knowledge-based sections of the website provide lots of useful information to explore from here. Thank you.